And now on to the latest news about the Malaysia Airlines crash. International monitors have gained better access to the crash site in rebel-controlled eastern Ukraine. However, some areas are still off limits. While negotiations between Kiev and pro-Russian rebels to set up a security zone around the site have so far failed, the Ukrainian intelligence chief says Russian crews operated the missiles that shot down the airliner. Our Park Jiwon tells us more. Talks between Kiev and the rebels in control of the crash site have so far failed to establish a buffer zone around the crash site in East Ukraine, but efforts are being made to expand access. The UN Security Council is considering a resolution demanding that the armed militants controlling the region allow access to the site, and the Ukrainian government is negotiating with separatists. Teams of international investigators and monitors working in the region now say access has improved overall since their arrival on Friday evening. However, they say they have still been denied access to certain areas by hundreds of armed pro-Russian militants who control the area. Adding to the tension in the region, Ukraine now says the team that operated the missile system that shot down the plane was Russian and that the missile launcher also came from Russia. Rebels uh, cannot operate the very sophisticated and high-technique uh, launch, uh, missile launch Book M1. To operate Book M1, you need to have uh, education, military education, and to be well-trained. We know for sure that those, the team was Russian. Uh, there were Russian citizens operating Book M1. Meanwhile, Malaysia Airlines has released a full list of the 298 passengers from 11 countries who are aboard the plane, including nearly 200 from the Netherlands, 43 Malaysians and 27 Australians. At least six of the passengers were renowned AIDS scholars heading to Melbourne to attend the 20th International AIDS Conference set to begin this Sunday. Korean President Park Geun-hye has sent her condolences to Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak and Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, expressing her sadness over the painful loss and offering her condolences to the relatives of those lost in the crash. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.